We start this problem by isolating the radical on the left side of the equation. So subtracting 6 from both sides, we have the square root of x equals x minus 6. Next, to get rid of the radical, we square both sides of the equation. And notice that on the right side of the equation, the x minus 6 squared must be thought of as x minus 6 times x minus 6. So we have x equals x minus 6 times x minus 6. And foiling the right side, we have x equals x squared minus 12x plus 36. Remember that when an equation has a squared term in it, we must set the equation equal to 0, then factor. So our next step is to move the x to the right side by subtracting x from both sides of the equation to get 0 equals x squared minus 13x plus 36, which then factors as 0 equals x minus 9 times x minus 4. Solving from here, x equals 9 or x equals 4. And as your last step, make sure to check both answers back in the original equation. If we plug a 9 in for x, we have the square root of 9, or 3, plus 6 equals 9. And since 3 plus 6 equals 9 is a true statement, our first answer works. But notice that when we plug a 4 back in for x in the original equation, we have the square root of 4, which is 2, plus 6 equals 4. And 2 plus 6 does not equal 4, so 4 cannot be a solution. And our answer is only x equals 9.